done that. Warned you, she began. Imagine having a pregnant girlfriend and pretending they don't exist until it comes out you like to abuse them too dash and rarely visiting your actual son unless it's because you're running from whatever problems you got going on in Atlanta and the press with your serial abusive woman. She continued, any. I'm having an actually amazing day. Karma's real. Treat the people you love well. Happy Valentine's Day! According to TMZ, the incident took place on December 20 in Fulton County, Georgia following an argument between the unnamed victim and Playboy Cardi over a paternity test. The woman told police that Cardi grabbed her by the throat and pushed her, holding her neck until she could barely breathe. She said she feared for her life during the attack. According to the alleged victim, a witness then jumped in to try and break up the fight and help her escape his grasp. She said Playboy Cardi then attacked her again when she ran to her car. The woman claimed the whole load of red wrapper attempted to pull her out of the vehicle and put his hand over her mouth as she tried to use the car's SOS feature to call the police. Related news Ziggy Azalea addresses rumors about multi-million dollar OnlyFans earnings February 2, 2023 when cops arrived. Cardi was arrested for felony aggravated assault, as well as hindering a person making an emergency call. Police records show he was booked into Fulton County Sheriff's Office on December 29th and released on a $100, 000 bond the following day. The woman told police that she had been in a relationship with Cardi for two years and they had lived together since July 2022. She was 14 weeks pregnant at the time of the alleged incident. Iggy Azalea and Playboy Cardi began dating in 2018 and broke up at some point in 2020. They have a two-year-old son together named Onyx Carter, who was born in April 2020. In other Azalea news, Iggy spent the hours leading into Valentine's Day courtside watching the New York Knicks defeat the Brooklyn Nets at Madison Square Garden. She even chopped it up with point guard Jalen Brunson after he dropped 40 points in the victory.